Yeah, at first a big sigh of relief, um, but obviously very proud. Very proud of the situation. Um, you know, we think about the 20 year hiatus from being a publicly listed company, Lannis and Gear, and uh, so very thankful uh, for all the people that were involved, my team, the advisors, uh, the bankers, et cetera. Uh, but at the same time, uh, a sense of closure. Uh, we moved away from Toshiba. We opened up a different chapter, a different chapter with new shareholders as a publicly traded company. Yeah, I was very surprised that um, what we had to really compete against was the New York Exchange. And the reasons being, um, our business uh, is heavily predicated on the US. Our peers, two of our peers that we get compared against, are listed on the New York Stock Exchange. However, when it came down to it, it was really, I would say, the customer-friendly uh, six exchange, the ability to work directly with the regulators, uh, time to market was really important for us, and we had an accelerated timeline as well. So all those put together made it clear, uh, along with what I, would say, what I should say is the strong support from the Swiss investor base made sense for us to list uh, at the six. It's interesting, Switzerland being half the size of New York, yet Switzerland offers the same relevant contacts uh, in Switzerland in the broader Europe. If you take a look at our heritage, 1896, we were founded as a Swiss company. A lot of reason and rationale why we get strong support within Switzerland. Yeah, I would put it this way. Um, we think all investors are important, number one. All shareholders are important. As I said before, with a, uh, with a base, customer base uh, in the US, it, uh, it's understood that the knowledge around the business uh, is well known uh, in the US. And for that reason, we had a lot of interest um, from funds in the US. However, we uh, also, as I said, have a lot of support uh, within Switzerland and within the broader Europe. So I would say um, I wouldn't make a distinction in terms of the or origin or jurisdiction. I would say all shareholders are important, but for that reason, we had a lot of support in the U.S. as well. It was interesting. When we started out the process, one thing was clear. We had an objective to do a successful IPO in an accelerated timeline. And to do that, it was clear we needed an IPO advisor. And really an IPO advisor was like a coach, helping us to make sure that we make all the right moves on, on the playing field to ensure that we don't go down a wrong path. Uh, we were fortunate we had a very experienced IPO advisor and really cautioned us in terms of doing certain things uh, right versus, uh, versus not, going down this path, et cetera. Um, so for us, in our, from my perspective, uh, very important to, to meet the timelines, particularly the accelerated timelines for a successful IPO.